pretty awesome. <laughs> got a bit of a pickle. I got an autonomous vehicle, uh, the Waymo. It's uh, inching sl uh, slowly and closely to the uh, one of the main water lines that the uh, SF Fire just charged. Can't run it over. Um, is there a way you can contact you know, like a responsible to come out and disable this vehicle? I don't trust this AI. Trust them or not, driverless taxis are on the road in San Francisco, and even more may be on the way. The engine ride early, press the larger round button you see, and move forward. Enjoy your ride. Cruz is asking the California Public Utilities Commission to allow it to expand service, a request the San Francisco Municipal Transportation Agency is against. It sent a protest letter to state regulators on January 25th, urging the commission to pump the brakes, telling officials yeah, driverless taxis uh, are not road ready. What if I, if I pop a flare, what do you think? This is SFPD body camera video of officers trying to stop a driverless Waymo from driving over a fire hose. No, you stay. In their protest letter, the SFMTA provided pictures of cruise taxis blocking Muni, even colliding with Muni. Meanwhile, the company's CEO says the technology is ready to roll and provide customers safe transportation. For three or, three or four minutes, they're completely you know, locked in. They're having a good time. It feels like pure magic. And after the ride, people reflect on it and they say, you know, I felt like that was actually my space. I had the privacy and comfort of my own cabin. I wasn't in someone else's space. And we hear from a lot of women who say they feel a lot safer at night riding home in a car without someone in it that they don't know. As a customer, I found it thrilling to ride without anyone behind the wheel. But as a driver, I have seen the cars slowly navigating the streets and even stopping suddenly. He's going to take uh, remote access? While state regulators consider the expansion request and San Francisco's protest, police will continue to work their way out of pickles like this one, and the rest of us will just have to continue to drive carefully. Rolling the driverless fleet back into the parking lot for good doesn't seem like an option.